They want to beautify this bank. It was beautified before with the trees. Donald nicely bought his home on Alice Street, partly because of the trees in front. Now they're gone, and the steep hill outside the home is more apparent. He and his children believe it's a hazard, especially with a road on the other side. The hill is city property. A car could go off the side. Somebody could stumble and fall and go off the side. Um, we've already had neighborhood kids um, using this as a cut through and riding their bikes down over it. Donald's daughter is an Erlinger council member. She spoke on the issue at their meeting last Tuesday. This poses a liability for the city since it is city property and at the highest point there the drop off runs 18 to 20 feet. This is not a, this can not only affect my family but again anyone that is down there. The city administrator recognized the family's concerns and said they were getting quotes for a guardrail. We always have money for safety improvements and stuff like that, which we're not going to be waiting. As soon as we get our third price in, we um, will be moving forward and uh, making sure that's a safe situation. Donald Nicely says the city put up this temporary barrier, but then... Two days later, they come and tuck it down and say, we're not going to do nothing. It's rotten. Wouldn't you say so? If somebody told you something, then they come back and say, no. Erlinger Mayor Jessica Fetty says the city's attorney recommended against a guardrail. After he had the full understanding of, of the issue, um, it was a recommendation from our city attorney that it does not serve a public purpose in order to use taxpayer dollars on. So um, it, it would only impact two properties. Um, and technically, because it's a hillside and it's owned by the city, there's not any true need um, to make any type of change to what is existing. I feel like the city has a responsibility to keep all the residents safe, whether that's one or it's, you know, a thousand and one. Um, and I feel like when, you know, there's a, a, an issue here that they've recognized, I feel like they made a promise to do it. They should live up to that promise. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and hit the links to find out more.